Hi folks, the Filipina Pi here. And we all know how people can change, especially throughout a long-term relationship, like a marriage. But what happens when you bring a young Filipina back to the West as your bride? Will she change more than most? Well, today I'll be speaking with a man named Valentino, who's gonna share his experience. For anyone considering doing what he did, I think you'll find this story to be worth your time. Welcome to my show, Valentino. Oh, thank you, P. I'm very happy to be here with you. So, this is not your first time here in the Philippines, right? No, it's not. Uh, I was here in 2000 and then back in 2005. So, tell us your background. Uh, well, I was born in Cuba. I uh, left Cuba when I was two years old. Moved to Miami, Florida with my family. Okay. And then um, joined the Army when I was 17 years old. Okay. Took an early retirement when I was 35 from the U.S. Army. How young are you at the moment? Uh, right now, I'm 64. 64? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Thank <laughs> okay. you. You're 64. Very I was married to I married a Filipina in 2000, um, and then we, we we actually met in Saudi Arabia when I was working there, and we were married right after. Uh, well, like within six months, I think. Within six uh, months? Something like that. What's the old saying? Fools rush in. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Okay, so how old were you back then? Well, I was 39 when I met her. Okay, and 39, then, and she was? Uh, 12 years younger, so 26, okay. 27. So it's not really a huge age gap between no. the two? No, no, Okay. We actually were married in uh, here in the Philippines. Where is she from? Uh, Mindanao, northern Mindanao. I don't want to say the city. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. And how long was the marriage? Well, uh, we separated in 2011. Okay. Uh, and then we were finally divorced in 2012, so about uh, 11 years. So what about kids? No kids? I didn't have any children with her. Um, I wow, didn't with a Filipina? No. She didn't want to well, have kids? Well, in initially she didn't want to have any children. Um, and then later on, after we'd been married about four or five years, she decided, yeah, you know, let's have children. I was fine with it, but uh, we couldn't get pregnant or she couldn't get pregnant. So we were tested. I was fine. She was fine too, but it just didn't never happened. It was Which, never meant to be, I guess. Yeah, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Was she working back then? or? Yeah, she, okay. she was, she's a nurse. So whose idea was it to move back to the U.S.? Oh, it was my idea. I was in love. I mean, and she, she was initially, everything was beautiful. It was a wonderful relationship. I mean, I could not have been happier. Okay. I could not have asked for a better partner. I was, I she was, was happy. She was the ultimate Filipina yeah, for yeah. you at that time. Well, she was the ultimate woman for me. Was it hard for her to get to the U.S.? No, not at all. I, again, I did all the paperwork. And when she came to the United States, she came with me as a, as a U.S. resident. And, and this was just being married to her for a year, right? Yeah. How is that possible? Uh, I know my way around the government. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> paperwork. Are your friends with the government still alive? Because yeah. I want to be friends with them too. Well, so it's not, it's not really about friends. It's about reading and understanding what's oh. required. Okay. And if you understand the requirements, then you can make things happen. Okay, okay? so when you moved to the U.S. Mm -hmm. with her. Yeah. First, first years, all happy, still the, the, the honeymoon phase? Uh, yeah, I, yes, yes and no. Uh, oh, yes and no, okay. She was under the impression that when we arrived in the United States, we were going to be picked up by a helicopter and taken to, the, to my mansion, which, of course, I didn't have. So she was confused mm -hmm. about a lot of things like that. Wait, what? Was she thinking you were loaded when he, she married you? Well... Loaded with I think she, a lot of cash? She really didn't understand the comparison between having a certain amount of dollars in, right? in the bank. And then, you know, so if you say, well, let's just pick a number. Let's say $5,000 in the Philippines is a lot of money if you're bringing that much in a month. But, yeah. but you in know, but, but in the U.S., depending on where you live, that may barely be enough to That's survive. Peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> in some places, it goes really far. Right. But in other places, you know, it's not enough. Is, and so, was this like the realization that Filipinos are not really good with financials? Like, we're financially illiterate in some way? Well, I think it, it yeah, yeah, in, in this case, yes, but that's very common around the world. The places that I've been to, right. a lot of people, like, for example, when I visited Cuba after I retired from the army, right. a lot of people would say things like, oh, $100, oh, and, and, you know, in, yeah, in Cuba, $100, oh, that'll last you all month. But yeah, but I don't live in Cuba. True. I live in the United States. Okay, so. Are you sure you didn't you didn't tell her that you're Pablo Escobar? You no. have a lot of money stashed in the U.S. No, no, not at all. I so never said that. you were you were upfront 
Oh, about yeah. your finances? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Finances. I actually maintain an apartment in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a nice uh, place. I mean, it's not yeah. that expensive there, no, uh, no. I don't think. We lived for about a year in Asheville, Western North Carolina. Okay. Uh, and then that's where she she got her, her, her recertified or certified as a nurse in the United States. Okay, so she's she's working and she's earning her own money. Oh right? yeah, she was making good money. Yeah, so she was bringing in just starting out about twenty six dollars an hour. You said that uh, she was expecting to be picked up by a helicopter, yeah. maybe a yeah. marching band with a red carpet. So yeah. she she wasn't so happy when she yeah she was arrived there. she was disappointed disappointed. Okay. Yeah. But then again, she got certified and then working as a nurse, and mm -hmm. then that's hefty a lot of money compared to oh, you yeah. know, being yeah. being a nurse here in the Philippines. So, was was the marriage still working with the first maybe first two three years? I think it was good until for about a year and a half. It was really good, and then she started to become Americanized, and this is important for for Americanized. your for Ooh. your your followers right the men that are considering bringing a woman a uh, filipina or i don't know maybe a woman from any other place in the world but yeah. let's talk about the philippines right because that's my experience bringing a woman back to the united states they will change they can't help but change you have to change you have to adapt it's right. a new country new environment but the other women that she's going to be around like happened with me they're going to start yeah, talking to her yeah like and you can do better yeah right you can do better 12 year age difference or maybe some of you guys are thinking a 20 year age difference don't do it brother <laughs> don't do it no mas yeah yeah okay I, yeah i mean so so okay it, 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 it she changed yeah i'm sure you noticed yeah the I changes did. what were the early signs of that virus i think it was her first, penetrating her first paycheck her first paycheck how much was it uh her first real real good paycheck uh for you know because nurses worked like three days on and and four four days off depending on on the on the location and the job but uh i think i want to say it was about nine hundred dollars or maybe more it could have been eleven hundred somewhere in that range for how many for days of work six six days six days yeah okay that's that's a lot of money yeah uh, and that's after taxes and all the withdrawals, is, you know, everything. Right. Uh, was she happy about the taxes? <laughs> no, well, nobody's happy about that. I mean, well, maybe no. some people are, but no, no. no. The average person isn't. No. Okay, the first paycheck. Tell mm -hmm. me about it. Uh, what, was she like, okay, I'm a millionaire now? Because some Filipinos are like that. We feel like millionaires. Like, why are right. we millionaires? Well, it wasn't, it, it wasn't like that. It was like <laughs> her attitude changed. I mean, it was, in, in some ways it was good because she was more confident, more positive. But right. in other ways, it's like, I saw it as like, oh. Something I, I I was at that point I I was on the fence. I mean I was thinking you know maybe I made a mistake, but let's just keep moving forward. She was on birth control initially when we met because well she got on birth control after because she had acne really bad. Oh, and okay. the birth you know the the birth control helps with that. Right. Uh, control you know the estrogen in the body and hormones. Yeah. Right. And uh, when we came to the United States, she was talking to some of the other nurses and they're like oh yeah take the patch use the patch. Oh. Like, kind of like a nicotine patch, right. but it's you know for birth control. And I told her that was a bad idea. Okay. But she wanted to do it, and I and I think in some ways. What about ways, the pills? I mean, just take the, the pills, oral pills. That would have been better, I think. But yeah. uh, she wanted to use the patch because her friends, fellow nurses, uh, she told wants her, to be the. That's it, that's the where the end. Americanization started really happening. Oh, the American friends. Yeah. Not Filipino. No, no, no. No, we hardly Community. we hardly hung out with any Filipinos. We did it on occasion, but it was okay. it was the Americans. Who were the American friends? Are they single, divorced, uh, these unhappy? Were, these were some nurses, and uh, sure. they were maybe a little bit older than her. Okay. But these were <laughs> I, I want to say this in a very delicate way, so that this you know you're not yeah, demonetized. We, we, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they were uh, how can I say this in a polite way? Very happy-go-lucky sort of women that. You know, they weren't faithful to anybody. Uh, they were, they would hit on me all the time, and I would just ignore it. And I didn't tell her because her I, friends were hitting on you. Her coworkers, yeah. Her coworkers are hitting on I you. I mean, like hard. Hard. Oh. Yeah. Like, and I would just ignore <gasps> them. Hard. Well, for example, one day uh, I dropped her off at work. She would go in. She was working the night shift right. at the hospital, and then it was it was icy and snowy. You know, North Carolina. Okay. And I'm this one of the nurses is. Uh, She's getting into her car. She's leaving. I've already taken my now ex-wife upstairs. She's right. up in, in her place of work, and and I had a, a scraper, so I'm helping her scrape the uh, 
the ice off her windshield and she says, oh, I'm looking for a boyfriend. Nobody will know, you know, if you're interested, you know, come on, uh, I got time right now. I mean, hard, hard. And I'm like, no. I'm, well, I'm not she knows this. that you are married to her Of course, they're, they're, they, they're co-workers. Wait, what kind of friends? <laughs> we went to a party. La okay. A few days, a few days later, we went to a party. These women were having a party. These nurses, okay. and literally, literally, my ex, my ex is standing right, right over there, and and there's a couple of her co-workers standing behind her, and one of them is like, call me, what the? <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, we really got to got to get the heck out of here, out of this place. Did you even warn your wife about her friends? I did not because had Why? I had I said anything, then she would have. Oh yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she yeah, was, yeah, That would be she a was still situation. A little bit, she would have been still. She was still raw from right. coming from the Philippines, and and I didn't want to create a problem for her at work. Sometimes Filipinos, they say they can't make friends out there. They yeah. tend to be uh, drawn to Filipino community, but yeah. it's it's the opposite with your wife. Her, yeah. I mean, her friends are uh, well, American women. She never actually like went anywhere with them, but they were right. they were but you know just they were colleagues. Colleagues. Okay. You know, if you're working, you go in a 12-hour shift. Right. And sometimes became... it's slow. You know, you can't help but talk. Okay. And she was very innocent, very naive. Right. And she would talk too much. Some Filipinas, they tend to miss food, the family. Yeah. Was she homesick? Was she? Was it part of the? Was it part of the problem? Why she became what? I, I don't think that. I don't think so. Uh, she actually did not want to go back to the Philippines as wow. often as I did. I wanted to go back more than her. And I even said to her, um, "Let's wait. You know, once I uh, I'm 62 and I start collecting Social Security, mm -hmm. you quit your job and we'll move back to the Philippines." Right. And, you know, I mean, I had my army pension and Social Security. That's plenty to live comfortably. Yeah. And she didn't want to do it. In my opinion, the reason she didn't want to do it, Pete, was because now that I'm here for the first time on my own, all, all these beautiful women, I can see why. Because <laughs> I have women smiling at me. Yeah, man, come on down. I have women smiling at me all the time. I <laughs> smile back. I say hello. Beautiful, beautiful women. And they're going to say like, oh, really, they're just yeah. after your money. But you, yeah. we are genuinely nice people, I think. Yeah. I would like to think that way. I, I like to say this. when, If you come from the West and you're here, you are the prize. If you bring a woman back from here to the West, they are the prize, and you will lose her. Maybe you won't. Maybe you're just a you know, Superman or whatever, but I guarantee you, you come here, you're the prize. Don't forget that. I actually covered this when mm -hmm. I was just starting. I think that was like my fifth video, if I'm not mistaken, and then... I, the thumbnail was like me holding the pearls, like yeah. your place or mine. I remember that video, yeah. <laughs> so you've been there, done that. Oh yeah. So you're not the uh, the hot commodity anymore. That's right. When you that's right. when you take her back to the West, it's not worth it, right? It's not worth it. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. Do not make that mistake. So Come keep here. her here. C keep her here. Keep her here. If you find a, a good woman, and you will, there's so many good women here. Find a good woman, live with her until maybe you're in your 80s, and then at that point then get married i mean that's just an idea right off the top of my head but then you get married and then but you ensure that when you die you leave something for her maybe if you have children you leave something for your children educate your children if you have children or if she has children send them to a good school get them educated make sure they, they get a degree or whatever it is that they want to do but so that everybody's okay and then once you're again when you're in your 80s then get married then at that point, you know, what does it matter? You're 85, maybe I don't know. I'm, my, I'm, I'm, my goal is to live to 96. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens. But yeah. you know, you use your judgment, but don't, don't, don't bring her back there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, do, it. do it. Don't do it. Was there cheating no, no, involved? No, no. 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 I, I was no. She was never unfaithful, as far as I know. I mean, if she did, as she. As far as you know. It, well, if she did, and I, and I'm I was looking out for that. Okay. And I never cheated. Uh, I, and when I'm when I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship 100%, okay. 100% committed because I don't want it done to me, so I won't do it to someone else. Yeah, I think I think yeah. that's the golden rule. Yeah. Well, you would think, right? Yeah. Right? But see, I, I thought it's, you know, it's common sense, but yeah, it's hard well, to say it's not so common. Yeah, logic and moral, you know, they're kind of you know, for some people they're flexible, it's, it's interchangeable, or sometimes it's fluid. For some there you people. go. There you go. That's a better way to say it. <laughs> it's fluid. Uh, but I think for me, uh, I already we were not seeing eye to eye on many things. Was there uh, a lot of fighting? We no? never really fought and yelled. No. Okay. Um, but you know, with those disagreements, you know. Okay. But one day she says to me, uh, "I think you know, I think we should separate and take a break." And I said, "No, I don't want to separate from you. I mean, I love you, you know." And and then, I, I, but that was a mistake. But anyway. <laughs> 
like okay. about two or three years later, we ended up in divorce. As soon as she said that, I should have said yes. Because, yeah, why prolong the, the well, agony? Because she caught me off balance. I mean, I, it's so like, she did. She did tell you like. She, let's she said that one time we were we were standing in the living room talking, and it was a, maybe a heated discussion. We weren't yelling or anything. It wasn't. We never argued like that. Okay. But she says, you know, maybe we should just take a break and separate for a while. I should have said yes, but that's where I made a mistake. If that if if, if a Filipina ever tells you that, yeah, she's say already yes. checked she's out. done. She's that's right. She she's, checked she's out. She checked out. She checked out, bro. Take your loss and just leave and move on. Yeah. But yeah. So okay. So she's the one initiated the the separation. Yeah. I think at that point that was the beginning of the end. Oh God. And and I was I was in denial. It, oh. it was hard. I mean, well, all right. So after we we separated in the house in 2011, right? She came to the Philippines for a month. I went to Florida for a couple of weeks, and I I said, you know what? You know, we're separated. You do what you want. Just don't let me see it. I don't want to see it. Uh, okay, so uh, this is, you guys are still legally married, Yeah. but separated. Well, right. how does that work? I mean, well, I, was, I slept upstairs. I have, my house is, you know, has two floors. I slept upstairs. She slept downstairs. Oh, so you in, became in roommates. roommates? Roommates, very respectable roommates, you know. So that, you're not allowed to sleep with other people? Which I don't care what she did when she wasn't home, but I, wasn't, I told her, I said, I, you know, don't, don't think you're going to be coming home at 9 or 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night I mean, after new being boy out toy. partying with somebody. That's not going to work. Okay. There, there will be repercussions. I won't say I'm on camera. Were you seeing other women after? No, no, and no okay. not at all. Okay. Did you yeah. think that it's still going to work? No, 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 no. In fact, after we separated inside the house, we it's for about six months. Right. I never touched her again. I told her, I said, we'll never be together again. I was fortunate because I married a woman who made, essentially, we were making about the same amount of money every month. Okay? Yeah. Had I married a woman that was making less than me, I would have had to either pay alimony, and if I had children, you know, the whole child support, you, you men know what I'm talking about. Right. Uh, so... If you, I mean, I don't recommend that you bring anybody back because maybe she's a nurse here and she gets you bring her to the United States. I'm saying nurse as an example, could be anything. Right. And and she doesn't get certified to work as a nurse or not working at all. You're done. You are screwed, bro. When it comes time to divorce, and it, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you're going you're to pay alimony. You're going to pay this. You're going to lose. You're going to lose half your stuff. You know, and it's not worth it. Come here, but you know what? If you don't want to come to the Philippines, consider. I like El Salvador. I spent time in El Salvador in Central America. Mm -hmm. And now the, the, the president down there, Nayib Bukele, he's cleaning up all the crime. It's a beautiful country. Colombia's nice. Be careful there, though, well, you know, with the women. Don't get married. There's many countries in Central and South America, many countries in Asia. Right. Travel, get out, travel a little bit. And, but and what if they you're... can't retire yet? It's not, it's not yeah. feasible in you know yeah. the next five years sure. what what choice do they have what it's I, the best route to i think take? depending on, if you're in the united states i can't speak for the uk or australia you sure. know so my brother's over there but come here come here for a couple of weeks maybe ideally a month but i know that may be difficult come for even if it's only for a couple of weeks and say pick one or two cities only uh, say cebu cebu's really nice you can go there mm -hmm. or you can come here to uh Dumaguete and just meet with this lovely lady yeah. but just pick one or two cities and yeah. spend a week in a city uh but that's what that's essentially what i'm doing i'm, I'm here until the end of may and i'm going to do some more traveling and i may actually go to vietnam too uh, okay. they say it's a beautiful place i'm going to check it out maybe maybe but so I'm, if they you know if they find their their filipina their unicorn oh, okay here, yeah so if they good question yeah if they can't retire yet so what is the best course of action just leave the wife and your kids here and then just come no one once or twice a year no that's it because what's going to happen is she's going to look for a side you're, you're here for a week or two and you decide you found the perfect woman and yeah. uh, you hook up or do whatever uh, and then you're sending her money every month well guess what uh, you know, there's gonna be a Chad and a there's Tyrone. Gonna, there's gonna be a Chad, Tyrone. <laughs> there's gonna the be Kikis. a H Jose, Kiki. You know, you're, the you're, Pedros and the Juans the, the, are gonna uh, be yeah. there. Or, or maybe it's a Susan or a Jan. You know, yeah, maybe, yeah. You, you never know. So that would be a mistake. Keep your money in your bank account. Keep your money in your pocket. With everything that happened to you with the Filipina, mm -hmm. do you, where do you? What's the end goal for for you? I spent about the last ten years just in my home in, in, in Utah, I'm drinking a lot of wine. I love red wine, okay. but those times are behind me now and I'm, I'm traveling 
and I'm, I'm go, you know, like I said, I may go to Vietnam, but meeting go, new people, yeah, starting getting over, out, starting over. And I encourage all of you to do the same thing. Get out. My goal. You asked me a question. What? Yeah. Why I'm here? Yeah. I do. I would love to meet a woman, a wonderful woman, and be in a relationship again, and and maybe, God willing, uh, maybe even have children. Uh, I would love. To, I would love that. You're not giving up on love. Oh no, no, absolutely not. I mean, and there was a time when uh, you know. Like every, uh, all women are like that. Make tell men go in their own way. The point is, life is better with a good woman by your side. I, I know mean, it's gonna. A it's good woman. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, seriously, you wake up in the morning, you have a beautiful woman. To have that partnership, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. That's what life is about. I think that's another reason why I'm so drawn to the Asian culture because everybody, right. there, there's so much unity right. and, and here, yeah, you won't, yeah. they won't leave you alone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for, for guys out there that they want it to be part of something bigger or yeah. something chaotic, yeah, mm -hmm. try yeah. to try to marry a Filipina and her yeah. whole family. Yeah, oh, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. <laughs> Passport bros, so what are your thoughts <laughs> on the movement? I think it's a wonderful idea. I think it's the, the best thing that's happened to men in a long time. You guys were asleep. We're, oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we were completely asleep. We were being abused and losing half your stuff. I, I mean, know. it's just crazy. You guys didn't know that you had you you have a choice. Well, I mean, I did. I did because remember, okay. I was here in 2000 and then 2005. But before right. that, I had been to other countries, right, right. and traveled to Man. a place where you're appreciated, that you're not emasculated, that you actually a place where you're wanted. Yeah. yeah because if you're a guy, you you have are to be, wanted here. You can. You are wanted here. Look in the mirror. You are wanted here. I mean, what options do you have back in the West? It, it, I think once you reach a certain age. In, in the United States, uh, unless you're very wealthy. I know, uh, in any country, in any, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, your your options are limited, you know, and especially if you're a little bit overweight, maybe you don't work out, mm -hmm. uh, you don't maybe, you know, take care of yourself like you should, you're ignored, uh, people treat you, you know, shabbily, right. and they treat you badly, uh, but here, oh, let me just say this, when I, I I've been in, in country just over two weeks now, and one of the first things I did was I got a haircut, go to the mall, get some nice clothes. Don't walk around like, you know, Joe shit the rag man. Come on. You know, shave look every nice. day. I shave mean, every day. Put some, some aftershave. Get you some nice cologne. Come here. Look good. Get your teeth clean. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. la la last week I had a, a, a cap or a, a crown fall off. Yeah. Which I, I had I hadn't had put in in 2005 okay. when I was here last time. Okay. I had a lot of dental work done. And, well, I went to, uh, to the mall. Right. And now I'm having three crowns, three crowns replaced on Tuesday for under $500, 500, less than 500. Less than 500. That's a freaking steal. I have insurance. I have dental insurance. I have right. tri TRICARE and then dental insurance. In the United States, average per crown is between 800 and a thousand dollars. And I'm getting three for less than, less than 500, like 460 bucks. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, seriously, bro. I mean, come on. What are you waiting for? Come to the Philippines. The women here are very intelligent. They're very educated. They're very polite. They're feminine. They're family oriented. They're just good people. I think you're gonna have an amazing life here. Yeah. I can't wait for you to uh, find that mm, whatever you're looking for, my friend. And I'm glad that I was able to uh, talk with you today. Thank you for having me, Pete. I've, I've admired you and I love your show. I mean, I've watched you for. I hope years. I didn't disappoint in no, person. No, not at all. You're. you're <laughs> She's, they say the camera adds 10 pounds. Uh, no, the camera just the, does not does not show exactly how beautiful P is. Aww. She's much more beautiful in person. Well, thanks again and best of luck. Thank you. And for the rest of you people, you know the drill. I'll be back in three more days with something unusual for you to consider. Well, that's it for today. Bye. All right, guys. Take care. If you think about it, I'm kind of like a pirate helping you navigate the tricky waters of Filipino culture and dating, and telling you how to find your first mate. Are you gonna listen to just anyone, or trust your Captain P to lead you to the booty? And you best be hitting that like button, subscribing to me channel, and hitting that notification bell, or I'll shiver your timbers and cut off your jib. And while we be sailing, why not feast your eyes on me other videos too? And yes, I'm a real pirate. I've got the sunken chest to prove it.